Hi there, I'm Cheryl, and we're going to be using the Heartfelt Blooms to make this birthday card today. So let me tell you what you're going to need for this card. Isn't that pretty? This stamp is just gorgeous. They used some new process to make it. You'll need a piece of Marina Mist, 5.5 by 8.5, and scored and folded at 4.25. Um, a piece of very vanilla cardstock, two and no oh, five by three and three quarters. Then I have another little bit here that's we're going to need a piece. This is longer than we need, but we need a piece like one by three and a half to cut this. Is that what? No, we're going to we use a piece for one and a. Wow, one and a quarter by five to cut this. This is a pretty die. I'll show you the die in a little bit and tell, I'll tell you where to get it. It'll be listed down below. And then we need another piece of Whisper White that's two and a half by three and a half to cut this little oval. I've already done all the die cutting because there's nothing special about it. And a piece of Marina Mist um, that's three by four for that. And then we need a piece of Sahara Sand, five by three and three quarters. Then I'm using the Heartfelt Blooms stamp set by Stampin' Up. And it's a beautiful, it's a photographic um, looking stamp. It's just, like I said, it's just gorgeous. And then from Perennial Birthday, um, let's see, what was I using from this? I must have been using something. I know what I used on the inside. I even did the inside on this card. Wishing you the best on your special day. That's what I used. And then from birthday banners, I used this little banner right here. And let's see, somewhere I used, there's the happy birthday. And the happy birthday right there. And I use, to cut the ovals, I use the layering oval framelits dies. Let's see, I used, let me just make sure that I, I'm telling you correctly. I think I used the largest, yes, I used the largest one for the Marina Mist one, and then the second to the largest, yes second to the largest for the very vanilla one. Let me just get this closed up. And this is the die set that I used. I used this one right here and I got this on AliExpress.com. I'll put the info down below for that. Um, using Sahara Sand ink and Marina Mist. I have my mini Misty out here to do the inside um, sentiment stamp. We'll need Tombow, Snail. I have some matching ribbon. And incidentally, when you go to buy ribbon, take a little piece of your cardstock with you because you're going to think that you, you can just look at the ribbons and match it. But I can pretty much guarantee that you're not going to be able to do that. So always take your take a little piece of your card stock with you. We're going to need a little pair of scissors, um, some Stampin' Dimensionals, and I have a little glue dot right there that hopefully I won't lose by the time I need it. So let's get going on this card. Uh, okay, let me bring in this piece of Very Vanilla, my little Very Vanilla Oval. And my little strip will do our stamping first. So, with our Heartfelt Bloom stamp, we're going to stamp um, the oval. Get that inked up real well. And we're just going to Try to get as much of that on it as we can. I want to get that big flower there. Make, I want to make sure that gets on there because I really like that flower. Okay, and there we go. There. 
here and then I'm going to do um, do it again I'm going to stamp this again just in the in the corner here now I'm working on a silicone mat here when I'm done stamping I'm going to wipe this all up but let's see let's put it like right there like that there that looks good uh, let me just grab my microfiber cloth I'll put a little cleaner on it and I'll wipe this up now I'm also going to wipe my stamp because we're going to use this again we're going to be using this with the Sahara, Sahara sand on the Sahara sand <coughs> excuse me I'm just getting over a um, the flu and let me tell you it's not pleasant okay so there's my little banner I'm gonna stamp the banner first okay and then I have my happy birthday and this is a, a straight stamp let me let me stamp this and then I'll show you what I did to get it curved to fit on the banner okay there we go that's nice isn't it okay this stamp is supposed to be supposed to be straight but what I did I took the stamp and put it I put it on my block and then I looked at it okay I can see I need the end here curved up a little bit so I just curved that up a little pressed that down real well and checked it again and there we go so now it, it fits on a curve you can do that with these stamps that are um, are um, not real wide so they're kind of flexible okay now let's get this in here and we'll stamp all of this in the background that I have here I don't know if you could see that when I showed you but all in the background here I stamped um, with the Sahara stand on Sahara sand so it just gives a nice little pattern on there and we just want to cover everything that background all covered up we don't have to worry too much about the very center because we'll be um, covering that up uh, let's see I got a little bit there and just a little bit there there we go and once again I'll wipe my mat up so we don't get ink where we don't want it okay so now we've got all these bits ready we need to cut out our happy birthday and there's my scissors so I'll just really quickly fussy cut this out oh we have one more thing to do I have to do the inside of the card stamp the sentiment for the inside I'm using my misty, my mini misty because I want to make sure I have it all lined up nicely and I'm not real good at doing that there we go we're getting there I know this is so exciting so yeah I had the flu and the funny thing is, I had the flu shot, which was a good thing because it probably would have killed me. Because I was so sick. But I'm feeling better now. I'm on my way to recovery. Antibiotics are a wonderful thing when you need them. 
You don't want them in things like your chicken or your beef or anything, but when you need them, then they're wonderful. Okay, there we go. So I've got that cut out. And we can get this all lined up. So like I was saying, I'm using the Mini Misty because I'm not real good at lining up stamps, especially these rubber stamps, because you don't know where that where your print is going. So let's see, I'm gonna make sure I have it the right side up and I wanna put it right about here on my card. I'll close that up. And now I'm gonna check and with the grid on here and make sure it's lined up and it is not. I would have had a crooked sentiment. Okay, that looks, yeah. There we go, that looks good. Let me just double check that. I'll get my ruler out and I'll run that along one of these grid lines. And yep, yep, that looks good. Oh, but we don't need this in there. Rubber stamp, we don't need the mat. So I ink that up. I use the um, Marina Mist for that also. Not using a whole lot of different colors in this card. All right. And there we go. So we can start putting this together now. We have all of our elements ready. Except the bow. Okay, so this will go on the inside. I'm just going to put some Tombow on here. Come on, Tombow, get down there. There we go. And just center that. We've got a nice little, nice border there around the edge. With the Marina Mist. Okay, and then we'll put this down. And center that on the front. <gasps> you know what? I don't want to do that. See, good thing I was using Tombow. <gasps> oh my goodness. I've got to, um, let me put my lace down on the front of this. I want to put my lace like right about right about halfway here. If you want to you you can always you can measure but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna eyeball it. And this overlaps just a tiny bit here on the edges. So I'm just going to use my scissors. I'll trim that little bit off. Actually, the bigger scissors will work better for this. There we go. Perfect. Now, on the back side here, I'm going to put snail. I'm going to see right about there is where my ribbon's going to be. So I want to put snail on the back and get my ribbon. And I want, oh, at least a half an inch anyway, to wrap around the back. And I'll line this up on the front just like this. And just fold my ribbon over and it sticks right to that snail on the back side. Okay. Now I can put it. I can put the Tombow on the back. I'll put that on again. Put a little bit on my ribbon so it gets stuck down from both sides. Line this up. 
boy, it's a good thing I saw that when I did. Oh, this is not lined up well. I can do a little better than that. There we go. Yeah, Tombow is very forgiving. As long as you, you work fairly quickly. Okay, and we'll put these together. Let's see, that's the right side. Now you could pop this up if you wanted to. I'm not going to. I want it like that. Yeah, that looks good. Could have it like this. I could have it like that. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I like it this way better. I think I'll do it this way. And I'm going to put snail on here. And just center that. Center it top to bottom. Side to side. And just press that down. And if you notice, I've had some snail right in the middle there. So that would catch that ribbon again. So that ribbon's not going anywhere. And then on my little bit here, I'm just going to... I'm just going to bend the ends a little bit just to give it just a little bit of dimension. And I'm going to put my dimensionals on the back just in this center part. So let me get, get a couple of dimensionals. Two of them should be plenty. just a little bit of an angle here. You just want to make sure your tails don't go off the edge of the card. And then lastly we'll do our little bow. I'm going to take, let's see, I'll take about, I'll get about 10 inches. That's way more than we need. But it's better to have enough. So this is what you do. You just hold your ribbon like this. Wrap it around your two fingers. Stick it down in the center. Bring it up to the that to the front. And we have our two tails here. And we're just going to tie those together. Like so. If you want your bow a little bit bigger than this, you can hold your fingers a little bit further apart. Let's see if I can get it off my fingers now. This is a very stiff ribbon, so it's a little bit harder to work with than some. If you use a nice, soft, floppy kind of ribbon, it, um, it's much easier to tie the bow. Okay, so now we have our, our little bow made here. And I... Lucky, lucky, lucky me, I still know where my glue dot is. And I'll just put that on my bow. I find that, that glue dots work really well for, for attaching fabric type things like bows. That's stuck down nice now and I'll trim the tails. Just want a little short tail on there. There we go. Oh, that's a little bit too short. Let me see if I can't pull it out a little bit. Oh, wow. I meant to do it that way. <laughs> that's what you say. When you make a mistake, you say, well, that's how I meant it to be. This is supposed to be fun. We're supposed to be having a good time with this. So there we go. There's our card. Hey, there's my original. So they always come out just a little bit different. And the inside. I think that's lovely. Wishing you the best on your special day. So if you liked my video, 
be sure to hit the like button down below. I do check those things and it always makes me smile if I see someone's click that like button. If you'd like to see more of my videos, then there's a subscribe button down there too. Uh, if there are any Stampin' Up! products you'd like to purchase, then you could do that through my Facebook page or my website. And I would love if you used me as your demonstrator. And as always, I have all the materials I use listed down below. So y'all take care, stay safe, and happy stampin'.